I'm making Vietnamese sweet potato and chicken curry. It's fragrant, it's delicious, and it's on the table in under 30 minutes. So I've got my onions just sweating down here, starting to caramelize, and I'm gonna add to that some chili. So just take the top off, run down the length, and then de-seed. If you want it a little bit more fiery, you can leave the seeds and the membrane in. I'm just gonna finely shred the chili, and then that goes straight in with the onions. Give it a quick toss together. And then in with the spices. So I'm using some ground coriander, which has got that lovely lemony flavor, and then some turmeric for a bit of fragrance and color. And now with any spices, you wanna just fry them out for a minute or so. That's gonna release the oils and really enhance their flavors. And also raw spices have a little bit of a bitterness, so you wanna cook that out before you add the other ingredients. Once you've toasted off your spices, just add a little bit of the coconut milk, and that's gonna to start to create a paste. And it will also stop the spices from cooking any further and burning and then you can go in with the rest of it. So in with the coconut milk, and then in with the sugar. Now I'm using light brown muscovado sugar, but you could also use palm sugar in this. Give it a stir together. And then in with the sweet potato, which was just peeled and cut into little bite-sized chunks. So stir everything together so it's all nicely mixed. And then when it's almost up to the boil, cover it with the lid. Turn the temperature down a little bit and let it simmer away gently until the sweet potato is tender. Once that sweet potato is nice and tender, give everything a stir and then in with the chicken. Now I'm using chicken thigh fillets, which lend themselves really well to curries and stews, anything that's slightly slow cooked. In that goes, stir to coat, just make sure you give everything a really good mix. Cover with the lid again and you need to cook that for about 15 minutes until the chicken's cooked through and that sweet potato is really nice and soft. So the chicken's been cooking away now for about 15 minutes. If you want to check that it's cooked through properly, take one of the larger pieces, slice it in half, and if there's no pink meat left, then it's ready. What I'm going to do is just take a fork and take some of these chunks of sweet potato and just mash them against the side of the pan. And that's a really nice method for controlling the thickness of your curry sauce. If you want a bit thicker, mash a little bit more, but you can just keep going until you're happy with the consistency. And then I'm just going to finish with some fresh basil, just torn over the top. You can leave it quite chunky. So just stir that basil through and your Vietnamese sweet potato and chicken curry is ready to serve.